Good evening everyone, hope you're well. I don't know why I did that clap, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? But never mind. Today, we have a completely unplanned video. No money has been spent on this video at all because uh, one of you lot is a fucking legend, mate. As some of you will know, I have got this thing. This is the KTM Power Parts Headlight Guard. Looks quite good, to be fair, it's all right. I did a video on that as well, which is there. But just before Christmas, I had a text from one Jay Salvo. Some of you will know him, some of you won't. Some of you will have met him at my ride out last year. Really, really lovely guy, got on well with him. But yeah, he messaged me before Christmas and said, hey mate, have you got five minutes for a call? Yeah. And I found out he's getting rid of his KTM. Do you know what he's buying as well? He's buying a bloody GSA. So I quite promptly abused him for buying a GS, asked him if he'd got a lot older, asked him if he was going to buy a Shoei Neotech 2 flip lid, uh, and if he was going to wear a polite vest from now on. If you've got a KTM, people take the piss that you're going to break down all the time. If you've got a GS, you're 58 years old, the wife's moved out, and you walked into BMW and bought all BMW clothing, including the flip lid. You know the gist. Anyway, long story short, he said to me, what's my address? And he was going to post me some bits. There were some bits that I might find useful. In that parcel from Mr. J Salvo was a full KTM Super Adventure handbook, like the proper big one where you, like any work you're doing on your bike, it's essentially a service manual or a, a, um, a handbook for the bike. I don't have one, you can get them online, but it's a faff to scroll through it all. Having an actual solid copy is fantastic. Really, really like that. So thank you for that. But also, just been talking about that, haven't I? So you guys that know exactly what's coming, well, nearly exactly what's coming. He also sent me this. I've just realized you can't actually see it on the camera because it's see-through. <laughs> but that is the KTM Super Adventure Touratech removable headlight guard. <laughs> I was walking around his bike when we were at the ride out in uh, the Yorkshire Dales and I said to Emma, I really like that, that's really nice because it, it's removable which means you can clean behind it a lot easier but also it just looks quite smart and I think he must have overheard me say it. Thank you, genuinely thank you very much, can't thank you enough. By the time this video goes out you may have received a little thank you parcel in the post. But yeah, so today we're going to be fitting this screen instead of this one and uh, seeing if I prefer it. So let's get fitting. Now the one thing I do need to work out, there's no instruction manual, so I've kind of just got to work it out. It comes with this, which is quite clearly going to head up under there. I don't know whether any of you watched the original install video, there's two bolts you need to get in up there, and then quite clearly the screen clips onto that. So that's that, that's easy to work out. I just need to work out how to do these. So there is a mounting point, and that is obviously where these little bungs plug into. But then there's also a load of other washers and stuff that I don't know what are for. So <laughs> let's get this bugger off, shall we? Oh, that's not a very nice noise. Green off. Job done. It is ceramic coated, but no harm in giving it a little scrub-a-dub. Right, well that was a little bit more annoying than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> um, I don't know whether the R and the S model are slightly different, but the spacers, I had one slightly longer spacer and one really thin spacer. So essentially what I've done now is, you can see this thing here in the middle. This goes up and you've got two prongs that come out and then there are spacers that essentially go above that, but on the other side. I think this is where they go anyway. The spaces that Jay had sent me were too long. Like they were too long for these, and if you put them there, they were too wide for the screen itself. So I back and forth and back and forth, and I, I actually ended up um, cutting down the spaces, but I took a couple of mil off both of those spaces, so now I can actually get them down. So that is bang on. I've done those bo both those bolts up. They're a little bit of a faff to get to, but that's obviously what the longer spaces are for. Um, and then on the side, I've got these two, which are facing downwards. You've got a, a bolt, a washer, and then on the opposite side are the thinner spaces. And that clicks in there. 
then it will also click in those on either side and then what you can do just to ensure that there is a gap all the way through is if you just pull these forward or back you can like bring it away from the screen a bit more the one thing they have got are these little things to stop it vibrating on the screen so i will bring it in a little bit so those are pressing on the uh, headlight and then to remove that when i'm cleaning the bike or whatever it's literally pop it out the bottom there and then lift out and then you can get to your headlight and clean inside and outside on that which would be really nice here we go so screen is fitted this is all fitted that thing's fitted back in as well so uh, i think it looks quite neat you know it's completely clear of the screen there's a little bit of a gap i don't know if you can see there is a gap now in there i've realized that these things actually push in i thought they just sat in there like that but they actually pop in so it's way more secure it's all clean doesn't jiggle bang in so once again thank you very very much to jay salvo i'll put his instagram link in the description and probably along the bottom here somewhere go and give him a follow because he's gonna get a gs i know loads of you are gonna love that you've saved me a load of money and it definitely looks better than the power parts one in my opinion so thank you very much thank you very much to everyone else watching this and i will see you in next week's video